Dr. Rowe, how does your garden grow? Got some potatoes doing their thing. Coming up nicely from some starters, which are just little tiny potatoes that are starting to sprout. We got two peach and two apple trees this year that we're gonna try. The freeze, when it destroyed our winter tunnel or our uh, garden tunnel, it froze everything that we had protected inside. So we thought we'd start over with a little bit more mature sized tree this year. They can live in these five gallon buckets for up to five years, but hopefully that'll keep them protected if we bring them into the greenhouse. Our pergola is now a greenhouse. We wrapped it. If that visqueen doesn't hold up, we'll go ahead and put some plexiglass up there or something. But it's open right now, which gives good ventilation with the open door and such, and it's been doing really good. Got some tomatoes going on up here. We've already enjoyed those. I'm going to try some lantana. Well, this is lantana, I'm sorry, to attract the bees. And we've got some blueberries going on. The green beans are starting to come up and trellis. We've got bell peppers. Did you know bell pepper leaves are edible? Yum, yum. The strawberries are looking good. Got a couple of strawberries going on. We've got some oregano and cilantro that we've already harvested. Got some cool pinots going on here, one of our clients told us about. It has the flavor of a jalapeno without the heat. We've even got some poblanos growing back here. Got some tomato plants going on. We're pretty excited. More treats for the bees. Little baby miniature pansies. Got a lime tree out here by the raised garden. We got some purple cabbage and white or cauliflower and white cauliflower. And these green onions have survived everything. They came with the house and they're still producing. Got some more oregano. I am obsessed with basil. Got some more potatoes in the ground here. We are potato eating people. My kids used to call my husband Mr. Idaho. It's sticking and it's great for our whole food plant based starch based diet. Got some yellow squash and zucchini going on. Feeling a little sorry for our broccoli. If that's all we get on the broccoli, that's going to be sad, but the stems are impressive. I'll have to look up those leaves and see if they're edible. I am not going to know until I post this video after I look it up. Got some more goodies going on over here. My husband and our older son Justin were just very dedicated at getting all this in the ground and planted and it's coming up very well. We've had good rain the last few weeks and it's just doing great. These are all way bigger than we got them. They were only about two or three inches tall when we got them. The bulbs are starting to come up. Hoo hoo! More sunflowers. We have this beautiful flowering vine that grows over this beautiful archway here where our wind chimes are. But we did something wrong last year and we trimmed the wrong branch and killed off the other side. So we thought we'd redeem the property by putting some rosemary there to pay penance for killing that plant by accident. Now these boots were made for walking on all this property. Not something you want to come out in barefoot. That is for sure. Between the stinging nettle and the stickers. We're working on those. Trying to figure out how to get those picked up and not be so nuisance. I could stay out here all day. My husband and I spend more time in the yard here than we have in our entire 30 years of marriage, being outdoors and loving every minute of it. My husband, one of his first jobs, <laughs> first activities was to come out here and count every tree trunk. There are 318 trees on this property, not including the palm trees and such. And they're biggins. Enjoy.